This is a drawing on paper of a koozie biting the letter Y. And then uh, here's another few biting rough drafts. And then also I uh, decided to, uh, instead of having her bite it, just have one arm around each letter. And then uh, here uh, I already had the first rough draft done. And now I'm drawing like the second rough draft over top of it. And uh, basically I'll grab my sketchbook and do like some really, really rough drafts. And uh, then I'll go into Flash and do like another rough draft and then usually draw over top of it. But some people will like uh, scan their notebook and bring it in and, uh, and then draw over top of it. I've done that before. It's generally not a good idea because uh, every, like, every time you need to draw something from scratch, you can't have to scan something from your notebook. And then even if you do, it's just you can like adjust things so much easier in Flash. Like you'll see, I just constantly erasing and adjusting things and also you can use like distortion like I did there to make her body smaller or her head bigger without having to redraw and erase with your pencil or whatever. So either way uh, I just like basically finished the second rough draft because the first one wasn't really close enough. Okay so now I'm doing a third rough draft or I guess a fourth if you include my notebook. So I'm doing another rough draft over top to make sure I know where all the lines are and then uh, I'm just gonna draw over top of it and I started by spending like an hour just uh, trying to get the text like perfect and uh, I'd already decided that instead of having Koozie biting the letter Y I was gonna have her hugging the letters kind of so I like drew the letters sketched out a quick Koozie and then you know drew over top or whatever and then here I am so uh, since I already had like a really good idea of what I wanted it to look like in my head. I didn't even bother uh, drawing like where the buttons would be, and that ended up being a big problem later because uh, like I had like no space for the buttons. But either way, uh, you're not going to see that right now. So I'm just I take like a really dark yellow and I do her outline, and then I'm using a dark version of whatever color I'm outlining for the outline, and I'm just figuring out where all the lines are going to be and right now I'm using two uh, really similar brushes like one space apart for the main lines and the detail and uh, I'll just draw over top the whole thing and then do an outline and then I'll I'll shade it and then I'll be done um, and uh, originally I just basically slept in an insane amount because I knew I was going to be getting up in the middle of the day anyway. So I slept in like, probably slept for like 12 hours or something. Got up at like 10 p.m. And then I knew I had all night. So uh, I just decided I've been wanting to redesign my site for a long time because it's really bland. It's like the, the old one, which you can see on my web design page, is just pure teal basically. And it looks terrible. <laughs> and all the borders are uh, done by pixels and they're not anti-aliased. So all the borders are like really junky and and just uh, I wanted to go through and just redo everything and leave it in the same spots and uh, then have like a new banner and stuff like that. And uh, the very first thing I did is the banner. Because once you get the banner done, you've got enough of it done to continue working. Start with the hardest part, I guess. I have uh, I've copied the outlines of the letters there just so that I can set my brush to paint behind and um, I'll, I'll have her arms go exactly, you know, no, no overlapping of the outlines or whatever. And I'm, I'm just working on a few layers, just copying, pasting parts of the outline to make sure I have the hands in the right spot. And I guess I decided to shade the head first. I have a faded version of my old title or banner in the background just because uh, it helped me out a bit. Um, yeah, most people wouldn't just start drawing to redesign their site uh, like this, but if you have a good enough idea in your head, it's fine. Like, if you're just uh, if you're just one person working on their site, you don't need to worry about all all the rough drafts or you know not not working on your site, working on anything. Like, you don't have to worry about all the rough drafts and figuring everything out and storyboarding and stuff. You can just do it in your imagination and it saves you time and it's pretty annoying how like teachers and stuff they'll they'll make you just do a million extra steps where only if you're the 
the the dumbest in the class would you need to do all those steps the smart people shouldn't have to do the the exact same homework and exact same rough drafts and everything as as the like not everyone should be doing the exact same work for every class like i would be in uh um i don't know what the class is called but it was like uh just graphic design class and the teacher doesn't even know what she's talking about and uh like i don't know i don't want to exp- I, can't, I can't get into it But she would like. I have like a like. I'm pretty. I'm, I'm obviously the best in the class at uh, at knowledge of all the software. And I've showed her a bunch of times like all my my Flash stuff. And yet, it, once I I like sit in a different seat and she'll just forget who I am. She'll be like, "Are you in this class?" It's like, yeah, I'm the guy that fucking knows everything <laughs> about what you're talking about. And she's like trying to make us use Corel Draw, which is completely uh, obsolete. <laughs> Pen tool. The pen tool can't even make a two-point curve. She's teaching everybody. Whenever you need to make a curve, just zoom in really far and make a bunch of points. In in Corel Draw, which has no anti-alias, everything is completely pixelized in in <laughs> in Corel Draw. And then we don't get Photoshop. We get Adobe something. Adobe Elements, like ten years older. Programming uh, class was even, even more pitiful. Okay. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I think maybe if you don't know how to shade, seeing me do it might make it easier because it really isn't all that hard, especially if you think my shading looks good. I just really just uh, I don't I don't even. Need, think I need to explain it if you can see what I'm doing like uh, but definitely um, make sure that the colors you're using aren't too close together because a lot of, I don't know like a lot of people you see like when when they're doing yellow or something like for someone's hair the the shading part of it isn't even dark enough that you can see and then also I use usually four shades you'll you'll see like the really bright to the really dark to the two in between just so that it, it really kind of looks 3d Okay, so I was pretty happy with Koozie there, and now is where I realized I had no room for the navigation. Because I wanted... (laughs) So I I wrote tunes instead of cartoons. I was trying to see if I could find room if I wrote the text in fonts. It's like still way too close together to even consider. Well, I guess there it doesn't look too bad, but I don't know. I wouldn't want my website that I have to be on all the time just completely crowded in the title which is what I was really worried about as you can see right here on on both sides I couldn't fit in anything and then when I when I drew over the text I just had the letters overlapping and it, it just barely fit and then eventually I added a uh, a white outline around the letters to separate them even more and then I also you, you might see me add dots between yeah dots between the letters I mean the words um, so to separate them even more and then also I I made uh, each like the blog is black tunes is gray games is black and art is gray just to really separate them and then also um, if you have vectors instead of uh, a symbol you can select it with a free transform tool and hold shift alt and shift constrains proportions and alt does it from both sides so you, you'll be able to uh, make the letter smaller from from every uh, from every edge or whatever you want to say. So it's that's how I ended up kind of making them fit. <clears throat> I didn't. Uh, well, actually, I'm going to mention I, I, I did the whole entire banner that you'll see on my site in, uh, in one day um, along with all the borders and everything. So I, the same day, uh, I started by drawing all this, drew the background in, drew all the buttons and everything, and then I started doing the border. And then the next day, I drew all the smoke in the background of my site. Um, and then I guess I just, f- there's a bunch of other stuff I needed to do. Uh, yeah. And 
friend? I didn't think you needed to see me draw the rest of the letters, but uh, I could have recorded more. I'm going to try to start recording more. Um, you know, like me drawing the background and me drawing the smoke and stuff like that. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> Thanks for watching. I don't know. I'm not going to say that anymore.